Hello, Zebra Herd. Today we're playing the Cherry Cup with two brand new characters in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. We'll be racing through Los Angeles laps, Sunset Wilds, Koopa Cape, and Vancouver Velocity. Let's get started. So we're starting the action in 150 CC. I think we'll check out the first new character to appear, PD Piranha, of course, was a character in Mario Kart Double Dash. Very cool, we played that one a few years ago. And I think that I'll probably just wanna start with maybe a more basic kart set of something where we can keep up with the competition a bit better. Um, hmm. Is there any pipe themed carts that we have in this one? I don't know. I knew that that was the thing in Double Dash, but I don't know if there's really any that are too strikingly similar to a pipe. So I think instead we'll just do a normal cart for now, just so we can get used to PD Piranha that way. And then maybe we can do some other stuff later. So just normal cart, pretty simple setup. Maybe we'll do something crazy for the glider if there's any kind of cool options for it. What do the clouds? All right, there we go. So here's PD Piranha. We're doing the Cherry Cup, which as I said before, has Los Angeles laps, Sunset Wilds, Koopa Cafe, or Koopa Cape, not Koopa Cafe, <laughs> and Vancouver Velocity. So yeah, let's head into the Cherry Cup at 150 CC. Ooh, so we're starting with Los Angeles Laps, which is of course from Mario Kart Tour. This is another city track that I'm actually not too familiar with, but it's of the beautiful Los Angeles, so this is pretty cool. We're, we're starting on like a pier here, there's a, there's a big Ferris wheel. Oh man, this is awesome. So let's make sure we get a good start. Something like that should be good. We are definitely a heavier weight character, which is something I need to get used to, especially playing Kamek last episode. I think it's probably more of like a medium weight. Maybe even a lightweight. Oh, and we're on the beach now too. Very cool summer vibes here, which is perfect for the time that this wave released. Okay, ready and try to get somebody with that. Jumping off of these, <laughs> these remind me of Excite Bike. Oh, the huge turnover here. That's awesome, but oh, I did not land it super duper well. Okay, come on, come on. Gotta drift around all the crabs, and then we're trying to go around this turn. Very windy roads around here. And I think I'll put that banana down there, pick up a double item. Got a coin and a Koopa shell. Pretty good. Chilling out in the bike lane a little bit, or just gonna drift over this way. There we go, and that's gonna be the first lap completed like the other tour tracks. The, the, each lap is a little bit different. So that's always pretty cool. I'm trying to not get hit by that banana by our old partner in Mario Kart Double Dash Kingdom. Whoa, it's a baseball stadium. That's so cool. We go right over it, past the burger shop, but there's a little shortcut to my left. I'll have to keep that in mind. We're just trying to drift through this stuff as well as I can. This is such a pretty track so far, I love it. Oh, we could probably yeah, do a little trick up that ramp. And then, oh, don't run into the wall too much. This is not the best. Oh, I hit somebody though, there we go. <laughs> I can see the Ferris wheel in the distance a little bit. As we rush down this road. I think we're probably, yeah, coming up on the third lap here as we go through what I think is supposed to be like probably like an oil refinery or something. I don't know what these are. <laughs> All right, come on, go through there. I think it has something to do with like gas or oil or something. Okay, well that's not so good. You get hit by both red shells there. Gotta dodge these big things. But it's just so cool what they do. Oh, there was like a really cool flying section above us. I gotta take a look at that in a later race, I guess. But just, you know, what they do to make this stuff like geographically accurate to like what that area has is very cool. Okay, we're doing pretty good staying ahead of the competition. I just hope it stays that way. We don't get hit by too many items as we go across this last little stretch. Red Shell's gonna try to get me, but it's a little too late. We finish right where we started with Los Angeles laps. That was a really cool track. I know I say this basically every single time we play a Mario Kart Tour city track, but that was one of the most impressive ones so far. So our next track here in the Cherry Cup is gonna be Sunset Wilds from Mario Kart Super Circuit and the Game Boy Advanced. A lot of these tracks can be sort of the same in Super Star Circuit, but it seems like they really make them feel totally like fresh experiences in this DLC so far. We had another one in the previous wave that was really fun to play through. So let's try to race through this one a little bit more with PD Piranha. But yeah, it's really cool to see that PD has been added to uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because he hasn't been in a ton of Mario Kart games. I really think he's mostly just been in Double Dash and probably Mario Kart Tour, if I'm not mistaken. So it's cool to sort of see him make a return to form in Mario Kart. 
Okay, we'll watch out for the shy guy. So far, so good. Gonna drift through this stuff as much as I can. Trying to catch up with Iggy. There we go, that's a great Koopa shell throw. Jumping through all this stuff. Yeah, obviously there's a level of detail here that wasn't in the original Game Boy Advance game. And that's always cool. So, I do have a red shell. For right now, I probably wanna keep this if possible. If they catch up to me, I can just pelt them with it. Ugh. Sliding on the mud there a little bit. Okay, here comes another red shell, so I'll get rid of my stuff. The ground definitely doesn't have a lot of traction, even on the solid parts. I do like the giant dinosaur steps on the ground or something. I gotta imagine that's what it is, because there's a bunch of, like, ow, archaeologist shy guys here or something. They're digging for treasure. There we go. That was pretty cool. I'm going to do some tricks through all of this, put out that banana. This track, of course, with it being one of the older tracks, is a little bit on the short side, so we're heading into the final lap already. Got it. Pulling down that banana. But it's just crazy that we got three new characters with this wave, you know? So much new content to experience in that way. I think that means that we still have two more characters left to get in the next wave. And the next wave is the last wave, so we'll definitely be getting both of the new characters there. I have no clue who it's gonna be. I mean, I have a lot of potential guesses, but maybe we'll talk about those later. Ow, I get hit pretty hard there. Oh no, not another one. Come on, I'm trying to hold out. Everybody is hitting me right now, that was not fair. Luckily, the blue shell didn't really work, but Roy is taking a huge lead here that I don't think I'll have much of a hope to catch up from. No, you guys, oh, come on! Oh, they all get a big boost there, so I end up back in third. I got hit by so much stuff, though, that it was just very unfortunate. But hey, we're still 25 points. If you can win the next two races, it'll be fine. So this one is one of my favorite courses out of this whole wave. It's Koopa Cape from Mario Kart Wii. This is one of my most favorite Mario Kart games. So to see some more Mario Kart Wii tracks added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is super exciting. This one looking pretty similar to how it did in Mario Kart Wii. Let's see if we can keep up with the competition, get a, a win here. Like I said, I need to catch up in points now. Here, let's, uh, oh, I can't do that. I thought I could jump off the side there. Maybe Luigi's a little bit ahead of us. I've been trying to keep an eye out for potential shortcuts as well. Ah, I want that a little, I want that a little too low. It's okay, I'll get some items later. But now we're going down the water stream. Ow, somebody got me really good with that. I think that was Iggy again. Jeez, this is a little too much. Oh my gosh, I keep getting hit by items. Poor Petey, always getting beat up. There we go. We're trying to catch up a little bit here. My drifts aren't so good. And I'm usually not the best at heavyweight characters. So I just need to catch up where I can. Okay, I might just blast you with that as soon as I can. So far, this is a little bit of a rough race, but we're heading back in the second for the second lap. Pretty fitting. Oh, we get another blaster. Oh, he just fell down that hole. I just saw him do that. Poor Iggy. Okay, definitely grab this. Get a nice little speed boost from it too. So right now we're actually in a pretty decent spot. If I could get a lead, and then if they try to pass me, boom, just use, you know, this. Never mind. I can't use that anymore. Okay, we're jumping back down the pipe. This part's so cool though, because we just go through the water. We get to see all these uh, different things going on down here. Oh no, I'm a little bit worried. Ah, oh, it hits me right out of the air. I get a banana this time, so I'll be a little bit more protected if I need it, but you know what? I'm just gonna not come out with it. So I just really want to stay ahead if possible. The only problem with that idea though is that there wasn't any ac ar actual items to grab. Roy is catching up to me again, which has me very nervous. Some extra speed there. Oh no, ooh, just barely dodge that Goomba. I really need to grab an item here. Unfortunately for me, I do not grab an item. I do see a double item inside of that little blue shell sort of house. Okay, big turn over this way, getting another item. Please let it be something defensive. I don't need any more coins. Okay, it's a banana. I can do something with a banana, because we are building up a lead, but that'll only stay true if we don't get destroyed by a bunch of red shells or something. 
or worse. I already see the blue shell coming in. So if I could just maybe throw some of that stuff backwards, I might be able to finish this race before the blue shell gets to me. Come on, come on, there it is. So a big first place finish to balance things out a little bit more. There we go. So we're back in the lead with points, but only by one. So that means I definitely need to beat Roy at the minimum in this next race. So the last race of the Cherry Cup will be Vancouver Velocity, our second Mario Kart tour track in this cup. It's been a lot of tour tracks. It sort of makes sense just because it's the newest one. They've been adding a lot of new courses to it. Okay, so the final race. There's a lot at stake here. Can we win with PD Piranha? We're about to find out. I've never raced this course before, so there are some odds against me in that way. We got this really big turn to start things off. Do a little trick off of that. I do get a green shell, which I'm gonna use just to smack you straight away as we're racing through the very snowy area of Vancouver. Never been to Canada before, but maybe one day. Seems like a really cool place. Okay, let's get out those bananas. Just a couple of them on the smaller bridge there. This is so neat so far. Ooh, I like it. There we go. Good drift right there. Put down some more bananas. And get through this one. Whoa, the Yoshi on the little yacht over there. That was just a really big yacht. Okay, get this out right now because that red shell yeah, is trying to get me. And that's gonna be our first lap for now. But as you can see, it's really starting to change up. We go through whatever this is, like a giant art piece. Ooh, that was a good drift. And I will trick like that through all of this. Ooh, here comes a blue shell and a red shell. Are you kidding me? I probably should just let the red shell hit me. I feel like that is less of like a time penalty than a blue shell is, but it's a little too late. Let's go past this lake though, maybe. Ah, uh, come on, I can't quite get away. Darn, so they're really gonna be able to catch up here in a second. But it's all right. Go through like this. Looks like we're going past a Mario themed arena. Is that in Vancouver? Oh, it's gonna be like a giant ice skating or maybe hockey. Yeah, hockey for sure. Hockey's super popular in Canada. There we go, there we go. So in Los Angeles, we had a baseball field. Here in Vancouver, oh, I can't quite hit Baby Luigi with that. Um, here in Vancouver though, we have the hockey stadium. Now we're in this big tunnel, very different pathway this time. Ooh, come on, I missed the double item that I really, really needed. I could be in a lot of trouble if they start throwing items. Ooh, we're going back in the stadium already. That was quick. Maybe this will be a faster final lap. Who knows? No matter what, short lap or long lap, I'm just gonna race as well as I possibly can. Here comes that blue shell, are you kidding? If I can just let it also hit baby Luigi, that's what I'm talking about. All right, that gives us a chance to stay ahead here as we come to the last turn. Come on, there really was a short final lap. Oh man, that could have gone really bad, but we got the first place finish, which guarantees us the win for the full cup. That's amazing. Jeez, that was so tough though. So winning with PD Piranha here in the Cherry Cup at 150cc was not easy. I'm just not very good at heavyweight characters, so getting used to that was definitely taking me a moment. But overall, really cool character. So happy to see him here in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And this was a really cool cup. I think I do like the Feather Cup a little bit better, but this is still a super fun one. We got first, third, and then two first. So I think in general, we probably won't get a super high star ranking, but you know what, I'm happy with our time there. As you can see, we still get the golden trophy and one golden star, so I guess I'll take that, it's not so bad. So with that done, we're not quite done for today's episode. We're gonna be playing, of course, the other two difficulties of this cup, but with some of the, uh, the one other new character that we have here, which should be Wiggler, which is very exciting. So we have Mirror Mode for Cherry Cup, and right over here, we have Wiggler. So silly seeing him. He's only been in Mario Kart 7, I believe, which is the one I really haven't played. So we're gonna give this a try. I don't know if he's like a heavier. Yeah, I think PD Piranha is a heavier character. I don't know if this is like the, the go-to rule, but the cart is a little bit bigger for PD than it is Wiggler. So I'd imagine that means that he's a heavier character. Um, I'm gonna try the pipe frame this time, I think. Unless there's anything else here that sort of sparks inspiration. I feel like, you know, this uh, sports coupe could be good. So it fits the color of PD. You know what, I think we're gonna go with that. PD on a bike looks so silly, uh, but I think we'll go ahead with the uh, the sports coupe for now. With the sports coupe, uh, maybe the green tires. 
the leaf tires. Let me look around with other things that we have. We don't have a ton right now, so I think, there we go. We'll do that, and then the flower. Definitely the flower. This matches the flower on their head. So, we're back into the Cherry Cup, this time on Mirror Mode. Let's see if we can get another win. So we're back here at Los Angeles Laps. We did really well here the first time. I think we can actually do even better the second time. Even though the turns are flipped, that will make it a little bit confusing at first. I'll try to stay on top of it. So like I said before, Wiggler was um, originally introduced in Mario Kart and Mario Kart 7, and really hasn't seen too many Mario Kart appearances since then. And I feel like he's a pretty cool one. Like he's sort of like a wild card returning character in that way. Um, I feel like a lot of people weren't expecting him too much. Now I think that when it comes to returning characters, there's still a lot of really requested ones. I think this is supposed to be like a skate park that we're going over, or maybe like a pump track. Those are really popular. Oh no, whoa, I see I almost turned the wrong way. Those are really popular, I feel like, in California. Okay, there we go. I might try to drift through this a little bit. Yoshi's still trying to keep up though. He got a mushroom or something. There we go, so I'll place that. <laughs> I tried to place it right in front of Yoshi. But yeah, I feel like Wiggler's a really welcome returning character. I know a lot of people are waiting for Diddy Kong and Funky Kong, which there's, oh no, he's mad! <laughs> That's such a good touch. All right, so Wiggler gets real angry when he gets hit by an item. That is so, so cool. Over the stadium, you see Mario and Bowser with baseball bats. Is that like new art? Because of course there were two Mario baseball games. Oh, come on, every single time I had that, I'm as mad as you are, Wiggler. All right, uh, but yeah, I don't know if that's, are those like new art of Mario and Bowser holding baseball bats there? I don't think it was, but it could be. Just because I knew that there's two older Mario baseball games. Cool to see those make a comeback. I've never played them. Maybe one day. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna avoid, ah, come on. And the blue shell, I'm like firmly in second place. Give it to Yoshi. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, Diddy Kong and Funky Kong, get out of here, are the probably the two most requested characters at this point. So if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be those. Cause it seems like, from what I could tell from the trailers and stuff and the, and the website, they're really trying to make it seem like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Whoa, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, boosting through that one. I missed both items, but it was still really cool. But through all that stuff, it seems like they really tried to make it seem like all the characters being added are returning characters. So I don't think we're gonna see anything too crazy when it comes to that, like characters we've never ever seen before, but hey, I could be wrong. Anyways, boom, we're able to finish that one. That was really good. We were firmly in the lead too by the end of it, so Wiggler getting a great finish here to start off the Mirror Cup. Sunset Wilds is our next one, of course. This is, I feel like, maybe the most, I don't wanna say forgettable, but sort of in a way, the most forgettable course in this cup, just because it's, it's a pretty simple one. Um, but it does have some cool vibes to it, for sure. There we go. Yeah, I'd love to hear, you know, now that we've sort of taken a look at every course in this wave, which one was your favorite? Do you like the Cherry Cup more than the Feather Cup? Or maybe vice versa. Let's get King Boo out of here. Sorry, I'm not Petey Piranha anymore. I don't got a soft spot for you. Because those were the two that had like a big combo in uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Was uh, Petey Piranha and King Boo. There we go. We're drifting through this really well, actually. I feel like we're handling the off-road of this track a lot better this time. About to hit 10 coins. <laughs> Wiggler has such cute little moves too when they when they jump up in the air. But yeah, my biggest hope for a character in Mario Kart is always a little bit more outlandish, I guess. I say it every time though, I just wish Kirby was in this game. And at first that feels like, you know, a crazy request. But then you think like, you know, now we have Link in the game, now we have the Splatoon Inklings, and we have the Animal Crossing Villager. Come on, give me Kirby. You know, Kirby is the character I've always wanted to see in Mario Kart. I think it would just be so cool. I think everybody would play Kirby too. Just because Kirby is Kirby. Here comes that blue shell. Not much I can do besides drop my items to give a hard time to whoever tries to catch up to me. And then boom, get hit. Ooh, King Boo is really coming in. We gotta use that anger. But it's a good use. Focus in, try to get a win. Right now we're doing really good, but if we can bombarded by a, a bunch of items, then we'll be in trouble. So, I can just 
put that down, get another double item. Here, here it comes. I get the bi triple banana. Oh, come on. Oh, not good, not good. They are definitely gonna be able to catch up with that one, but I'm able to hit King Boo with that. I gotta drift well here. Got it. This is the last stretch. I just need to make sure everything goes well. Hold up that banana, drift like this. And then, boom, we got it. So another first place finish here in the Mirror Cup, or the Mirror Cherry Cup, I guess you could say. That's pretty good, we're up to 30 points so far. If we can win just two more times, we get that three-star victory. So Koopa Cape is up next. I feel like this is my favorite course in the Cherry Cup just because of nostalgic reasons, I suppose. I love the little Koopa shell bouncing between the pipes up there too. This is a fancy little touch. All right, and boom, here we go. So, this one we just gotta stay ahead of the competition as much as possible. I do get a mushroom, which I'll definitely use for this shortcut right here. That was nice. And then, whoa, missed every single item. I perfectly dodged in between all of them. So I don't think I really went into this little Koopa house thing before, so I just wanna try that. Try to take some different pathways, just because it's always fun. Keep the variety. When you're in first place as often as we are, like that's a good thing, we're doing well. Well, let me put that bob on down. I don't think that's gonna get anybody, unfortunately, but uh, could've. It's a good thing, but it means we don't really get many mushrooms, so we don't actually get to check out some of the shortcuts super often. Because some of them, at least at this speed, it's a little bit easier, 200 CC, but some of them just require mushrooms. Which makes sense. You know, if not, maybe it'd be a little bit too easy to sort of take advantage of. Okay, a little bit of an awkward drift there, but since we don't have the mushroom here, we'll have to drift around the side, which isn't too much of a time cost, I feel like. There we go. Getting the double item out of that. I wanna keep a little bit closer to the inside of this corner this time, I think. Got it. Drifting this way. Ooh, come on, come on. Got it, so good. So far, we're, ow. Ooh, that was not good. I was gonna say, we're, we're doing quite well. I somehow, did not protect myself from that red shell. But I will do this. I only get a coin out of it. Which is not so good considering I have 10 coins already. Ooh, okay, okay. I see that red shell coming for me. I don't trust it anymore, so I'm just gonna throw the bananas out. What do we get out of this one? Oh, we get the blue shell blaster. So. I know it has an actual official name, but I like calling it the Blue Shell Blaster, so. <laughs> At this point, I just call it that forever. I don't know, ooh. It is just very easy to run into a lot of walls around here. Wiggler has a lot of charisma to them now. Here comes a Blue Shell, I do see it, so as long as we don't get hit by a lightning, here's hoping I'll be fine. So that's like their only hope of catching up to me here. Even though I do hit the wall again there, which is not so nice, but. Go. I do hear some more stuff coming towards me, but they are catching up quite a lot, actually. I need to be very careful here. There we go. Throw the green shell backwards. They're trying to catch up. Oh, they almost did dry bones. Really trying to get to us there, but not quite gonna make it work. That's our third win in a row. So as long as we can get a solid win this next race, we'll be fine. Our final cup in the, our final race in the Mirror Cup. It's gonna be Vancouver Velocity again. Which is good. Now I really enjoyed this one. I sort of wanna get like a second look at it. Oh, I love that. The little, sort of the goalpost had some steam coming out of it like a train. I didn't see that before. Fun little touch. Oh, and I love the mountains off in the distance too. I definitely wanna go see Canada one day. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. I do have this mushroom, I wanna, might wanna save it for if there's a cool looking shortcut. So far this is all pretty simple, so I just don't wanna use it just yet. I'll get another item now, which will end up being, oh, I take the first place there, another mushroom! All right, look at us, we'll be able to get really far ahead as long as we don't get destroyed by items, but right now I'm just focused on drifting through this as much as I can, and we do a pretty good job with that one. Yeah, the yacht's on our right now. See, so yeah, if I wanna get a nice little corner cut right here. That's pretty nice. And that's gonna be our first lap finished up with a decent lead. If I can just save this mushroom. 
That'd be good too. Okay, here comes a blue shell. And, oh, okay, I dodged it, there we go. <laughs> That's cool. Some of you told me that I could do that if I waited at the right moment. I just sort of tried it and it worked. Oh, that was so cool. That was my first time ever doing that. Whoa. All right, here we go. Let's keep it moving. Hopefully that'll be the only blue shell this race because I don't know if I can do that twice. Oh, hold on, the banana. Oh, I was not ready for the red shell. We're going into the, uh, into the hockey stadium here. Oh, I gotta go this way. Whoops, thought I had to go up the other one. Oh no, looks like Dry Bones are really trying to take a lead on me here. I need to just toss this banana. Oh, it hit the goal post. I thought that was lined up pretty nicely too, darn. Okay, I get a red shell. I do get another mushroom. If we do get hit by another blue shell, maybe I could try that again. Like I said, I think that was a once in a lifetime move I just did. There we go. Okay, we're heading to the stadium. This is the time we just go straight through. I don't know, I might get hit by a red shell instead. Yeah, we do. Okay, they're really trying to catch up. I don't see a blue shell coming in, and this is the last turn, so I'm just gonna use this. I think it's the last turn. Okay, maybe there's a few more turns to this last turn. Oh no, 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 come on. Are you kidding me? Come on, go, 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 go. I don't have a lot of acceleration, but I might be able to make it. Oh, that was so, so close. Wow. Okay, well, believe it or not, we got a first place every single time in the Mirror Cup with Wiggler. Let's go see our trophy. So, it was not easy, but we found a way to pull out some really cool moves there. My first time ever dodging a blue shell. And with it, we get first place on every single race here in the Mirror Cherry Cup on Wave 5 as Wiggler. That's great. So, we played both of the new characters now, Petey Piranha and Wiggler. I think out of the two of them, I love them both so much. But Wiggler just has this extra pizzazz to them that I like a lot. So, let's see our golden trophy and our six golden, or not six, three golden stars. That's fantastic. 60 points. All right. So, that was some really good stuff. Definitely happy with the turnout there. But we still have one more thing left to do. Of course, that is 200 CC here with this um, with this cup. So I think out of the two, I really enjoyed Wiggler the most. So I'm gonna go with Wiggler this time. Um, and we'll see if there's any other carts I wanna use here. I don't think so. I felt pretty comfortable with that setup. So I don't think I'm gonna change too much up here. The closest thing I have that looks like a pipe. It's like the ink striker, but that was more for PD Piranha, I guess. Um, I think the only thing that would really fit Wiggler a bit better is maybe like more bug themed, something like the Streetle. <laughs> but I don't know. I liked what I had with the um, the Sports Coupe. So I think I'm gonna stick with the Sports Coupe. Not gonna make it too complicated. Keep it going at 200 CC. We'll recomplete the Cherry Cup. So we're back at Los Angeles laps. I still don't know if I'm like entirely decided on if this one or Koopa Cape is my favorite. I think it's just gotta be Koopa Cape, but when it comes to tour tracks, this is definitely really far up there. Boom. Gotta remember that we'll be moving super, super fast now. So proper control of our cart will not be easy, but is the biggest focus that I have, so don't run into any crabs here. Ooh, crazy turn we're about to take right over this way. Ooh, slamming into the ground and, okay, I just went so darn fast there. That was ridiculous. And that's the thing where even if I'm breaking, it can still end in disaster. Ooh, just barely dodging both the green shell and the banana, they take each other out. So it looks like we're mainly racing Yoshi at the moment. I have a bunch of bananas at my disposal, so you know what? Everybody gets a banana. Ooh, I'll hold this one out if I can. Right there, boom, got it over the baseball stadium. Maybe those are actually not too new. I don't know, I, I got double bob on? I've never really seen that before. I don't know if it was worth doing that second one like that. I'm just bumping into every wall though. It's not so good, but now that we're sort of shrunken down, that might honestly help me in some ways. Because we're not moving as fast, I can sort of control my way through. And everybody else is moving just as slow when they're shrunken down. Oh, put that back there. I don't think it hit the red shell. Very unfortunate. I wanna take this way, if possible. 
because I think this way is, ow, can you guys cut it out? Wow. What happened to the, oh my goodness, I am not handling this well. I just wanted to get up here, because I think this is where we can really go crazy fast. Maybe. Okay, well right now we are getting totally destroyed. And I gotta catch up, like right now, which I don't get any kind of catch up items, so it'll be purely just race maneuvering skill. I'm able to hit some enemies there with my bananas. That was actually really good. We might get the first place, there it is. What a save towards the end. Oh my goodness. That was pretty crazy, but Wiggler is as pleased as I am. So I'm guessing if we got a bad placement, I'm guessing Wiggler would get all red again. That'd be so silly. So this track I'm probably the most worried about when it comes to 200cc. We have nice wide turns here, but with the lower traction of it being a dirt road, sometimes that's what makes everything a disaster. It isn't quite the turns, but the traction on the turns. So we'll see if Wiggler can catch up with things here, avoid some cacti along the way too. Do get a decent start, but it could have been a little bit better. So far so good though. I'm feeling it, okay. I feel like this car is definitely better than when we raced with Eevee um, when it comes to just the traction in general. I might actually yeah, avoid some of the boosts there because I still don't have a good feeling about it. The Shy Guys make this a whole lot more difficult, but somehow I'm making my way through. Got it. That was pretty good. All right, first lap already done. This, this race is gonna be hopefully finished in a blink of an eye. Got it. Get more coins too, so we're 10 of them. Ooh, a little too much there. Ah, got hit by that lightning, so we're all shrunken down. Once again, sometimes that's for the better, especially with this specific spot, because it's a little bit harder to maneuver through here. Okay, got it. Jumping over the the second jump there is pretty crazy. This is how it works out. Putting the bob on down, I don't even know if they'll catch up to it in time. Got another banana out. Okay. Didn't even do the trick off of that one. I think it's fine now. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was almost a disaster. That was actually so, so close. Jumping over this step, we're almost done this race. Putting the banana down right here, and boom, that was actually so good. There were so many points where that could have been a total disaster, but we just controlled it really well and got through most of the turns without too much of an issue. So two in so far, can we keep that up for the next two? Ooh, here we go. Koopa Cape is honestly the one I'm the most concerned about. The turns here are super tight. We were bouncing off the walls at the normal speeds. So how are we gonna fare when it's so much faster? I guess we're about to find out as our third race starts. Let's get going. So. Oh no. Oh, I immediately fall off the edge. And that is not what I'm looking for. I'd rather that happen though at the beginning of the race. I bet you if I could just, yeah, do that. It wasn't the best. I got slowed down a little bit, but I missed all of the items there too, but that's pretty common for me. And I will just try to drift a little bit over like this. We're catching up already. We're already in second place. Ooh. Oh no, got it. A lot going on here. I'm just so focused and I'm trying to not have something like that happen. Wasn't very fair. Do not let me get hit. Come on, this is just not fair at all. I gotta really catch up now because we're heading into the second lap. We're running on the time. Really make things happen. Luckily this time I'm not falling immediately off the edge, but even then, still struggling. So I really, really need to at least get one item here. Every single time though, I come out of that with nothing. A blue shell's coming in, and finally it's not aimed at me. So I'm way back here in fifth place. We're catching up a little, but with that I can sneak in and get in the first, but how long can I keep that going? Because everything is a total mess at the moment. Everybody is constantly changing positions. I get two items there. Okay, great. Oh no, get an item fast. I didn't really mean to do that, so that's super unfortunate. I could have saved that, that, that blaster. Okay, I might honestly yeah, do a, a drift like that. I hit the Goomba with it. What did the Goomba do, poor guy? 
Ow. Okay, I still honestly, that was the best case scenario for Light Knight. I didn't get slowed down. I still left that section with an item. That honestly might give me more of a lead than it will remove from me. That's awesome. There we go. Now this is like the final stretch, but also the most stressful part. This is where we keep getting hit by items and stuff. They're trying to catch up. They're so desperate to, but not on my watch. There we go. Boom, boom, got it. Three wins here in 200 CC. That was crazy. That was a really intense race. It started a lot worse than it finished. That's for sure. So next up is Vancouver Velocity. Our last race of the day. I hope it doesn't end in disaster. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Final race. Here we go. A lot of tension here. That didn't work. Okay. I thought I had a good boost there, but it just didn't really give me too much. I'll get that one. And, ooh. A lot going on here is Wendy is trying to stay in front of me. Ooh, but she raced right off the side of the road. So now it's just me trying to catch up to Luigi. Ooh. Just trying to break where necessary. Ah, oh, I can't believe that hurt me, but also didn't. Sometimes the triple menage just let me down. I'm gonna catch up to you, Luigi. You better be ready. Took a, a really good drift there, actually. And then, oh, so close, so close to hitting you. Oh no, not down that way. No, come on. It didn't even give me the chance to like correct it before lack of two runs out. Are you kidding me? There's like too much. I need more items, better items than these. There we go, we get triple mushroom. For better or for worse here. Ooh, come on. There we go, that was a major catch up opportunity. Okay, um, now I get hit by a blue shell though. No mushroom to, to, to dodge that one. Yikes, every time I get ahead here, they're trying to knock me back. They do not want to see me succeed. So I gotta remember, it's not mirror mode. Gotta go this way, I go left instead of right here. That's one of those ones where it's hard to sort of keep up with because besides, you know, Little details, it looks sort of symmetrical, looks identical, even when it's flipped. Okay, so, we're in first place heading into this last lap. Can we keep it that way as this red shell is racing after me? I don't know, because I smacked right into that wall. I don't know how they did it. Come on, come on, come on. Just barely dodging that shy guy. What do I get as an item? Just some coins. So I think it's just gonna be up to me racing through these turns. I don't think yeah, there's really any more items. So there we go, somehow I don't get pelted by a bunch of red shells and blue shells and every other type. But <laughs> that was amazing. We do get four more wins in a row. So it was really only the 150cc that we struggled a lot. With Mirror and 200, we demolished the competition. So that means, of course, We'll be heading into our little victory screen here in just a moment. That was amazing. So both with PD Piranha and with Wiggler, we did fantastic today, but especially with Wiggler, I think he's a little bit lower weight, so that really helps out a lot with my controls of him. But yeah, we just were able to win race after race after race and get not one, but two golden trophies with the triple star, as we'll see in just a moment. But here we go. Four first place finishes in the 200cc Cherry Cup is beautiful. So there we go, congratulations. Three beautiful golden stars. Nobody's beaten us this time. All right, so with that done, of course, that means we've checked out all that Wave 5 has to offer. So you guys, of course, have to let me know what is your favorite character and course and cup and just like all of your favorite details of Wave 5. And what are you hoping for for the final wave of DLC here for the Booster Course Pass? Which characters, which courses? I would love to hear all about it. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the Booster Course Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.